Are we waiting for Cape Town to list it? They've uh, have dragged the eels for I think three months already. So the application is. So if they list, the certificates are all done. It's waiting for them to just. Yes. High frequency. Because that's the question. This is high frequency. Eh? There's no yeah. transformer. Yeah. But but it's just the, the issue of not being able to expand it. Obviously. Yes. Parallel. I have that. I still like the quote this. I mean, this is the basic, uh, all the slides. So you guys have actually played with them. Then we have one next door. We'll, we'll go through the menu and the setup tomorrow. But um, so the interesting info. Yeah. Parallel not available yet. We are working on it. I can't tell you. I don't have any information, but they're all working on it. I know everybody's waiting for it. Rack version of it. Okay, that's what it looks like. That is coming early next year. Okay, I have some dummy, but I mean, yeah. The inner certification is complete. We're just waiting for them to put it on the website. So it will be CICP will be listed soon. Um, so hopefully end of quarter three. I get a very nice email from Walter every two weeks. So um, yeah, we've seen the Quattro has been listed. Quattro has been listed and the 15 KVA. So all the units have been listed on NRS um, on COCT. And luckily we've got the right communication with all the right contacts now. So the multi RS will be listed soon, and then we're going to review everything for 2029 to 2030. Uh, 2030 yeah. So we have a dedicated design. engineer in Ireland working on certification for I think yeah. the last year already, and that's all he does. So it's also improved on our side a lot because we've got to go for all the country codes in the world, eh? So there's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you have the new firmware that was released a few weeks ago. You can now use this as a PV inverter. Okay, so the options there, of course, install that with PV panels to the grid and then add batteries later on. So it's quite a nice use case. Okay. Expensive PV inverter though, but yeah. actually not. 6 kVA, that's quite, I think the price is good. So really guys, I mean, we couldn't put panels because it was raining, otherwise we would have tested that tomorrow. That's my excuse, but yeah. Um, so yeah, give it a go. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you've made it this far, I sincerely hope you have enjoyed the content and learned something new. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel, as well as to get notified of any future videos. Oh, and make sure to check out this video as well. You can also subscribe over here. And this one is pretty cool too. Lastly, don't forget to visit and sign up for a free account at the Blue Power Pro Forum.